Rock, who was at the concert when the shooting broke out. Mike, just a horrifying scene right there. Tell us what you went through. Um, it was very horrifying. At first, uh, it sounded like fireworks, and then uh, my buddy that was standing right next to me uh, said, I'm hit. And then we knew it was real. And uh, it was chaos. We got him down and people screaming. And uh, he got hit right in the chest. Just pretty horrific. My, my buddy got shot three times in the chest. How is he doing? I, uh, last I heard, I haven't been on the, you know, leave here, but he said he was going to be good. My goodness. So tell us what happened in those moments afterwards. How did you all get out of there? We, uh, most people started scattering and they uh, climbed the fence, but I had to stay with my buddy. There. So we uh, got him over the fence once the fires stopped and slid him under a stage so we were safe. And then we uh, we transported him around the backside of the event. How did you get him around? How did got you him stop over the to bleeding? the triage? There was three of us carrying him, and there was a cart. And so we got got him on the cart, and we wheeled that around. So you were able to get him to the triage, and then where did you all go next? And how did you find safety? Well, I wasn't really worried about the safety part because uh, I was going to stay with my buddy. Um, there were no ambulances available, really, because it was a, a fire zone. I, so I, we actually got four wounded people in the back of a truck. I know you got four wounded people in the back of the truck, but not all of them made it. No, and we, uh, it was, it, no one of the guys in our truck uh, did not make it either. I carried him out of the truck and he passed away in my arms. Oh, I can't imagine what that must have, must have been like, but you had the presence of mind to try to get people to safety, but this all unfolded so quickly. Very quick, it, it was, it's surreal. And in, in, in those moments, where were your thoughts? My first thoughts were for my buddy, you know, I mean, I wanted to make sure he was taken care of. But, um, you know, we were pretty much yelling at everybody to stay down, you know, that was, that was what we needed to do. Well, we're glad you're okay now. So sorry for your friend and all those who've lost uh, their lives and loved ones in this. But Mike Cronk, thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you. When you hear fireworks, but an active shooter's machine gun firing off. We were in the VIP seat, so to the right of the stage, and it sounded like it was right on top of us. This morning, at least 50 dead, more than 200 injured. And my other friend was praying over bodies that were dead. It was just, it was a horrible thing. Two of the victims, off-duty police officers, there to see the concert at this country music festival on the Las Vegas Strip when it was thrown into utter chaos. It literally felt like it just continued for 20 minutes straight. And I still wasn't even sure if it was actually bullets until one of the times we paused, our friend was like, the guy next to us got shot. Everyone like hid behind like cop cars. One woman says her car became refuge for one of the wounded. There was a gentleman that was shot and he said, can you help me? And so I put him in my car and I had like six people in my car, people with sh out shoes. People in my car, people with sh out shoes running just to get away and with emergency crews quickly arriving on the scene tending to the wounded reports of victims even fleeing onto the las vegas airport runways concert there and jason aldean was playing and uh kind of sounded like some fireworks going off and then uh i think there was like the first kind of volley and then all of a sudden the second volley my buddy's like i just got hit you know and uh got hit three times and then people started diving for the ground and then it just continued and it was pretty much chaotic um uh, lots of people got hit, lots of people were getting uh, 
it, it took a while to get him out. We had to get him over the fence and hiding under the stage for a while, you know, to be safe. And finally we had to move him because he had three chest wounds. And uh, got him out here. We got four people in the back of a truck, but then we got turned around because there was an active shooter. So we couldn't go down the street. So we finally got an ambulance right here on this, this right across the street here. And uh, uh, got two of the guys in. And basically the one guy ended up dying in my arms because he, uh, he was bleeding. And my buddy got in there. We got three more people on the ambulance and so they but I just got messages my buddy is gonna be okay so I mean I'm the guy got hit three times fucking so crazy some kind of mass shooting fucking guy had a heavy caliber weapon for sure saw a girl's fucking get shot in the face right next to her brains fucking hanging out holy fuck this girl just got shot in the fucking head it's so fucking crazy fucking early in the morning getting stem cells So I'm back doing stem cells again. Um, I haven't forgot about you guys. I'm gonna do that giveaway. Um, haven't really been posting a ton just because I've been working on my weed deal. Uh, but I finally finished it. So opening the dispensary soon. Uh, pretty stoked about it. Gonna be in Vegas. Uh, biggest one in LV. So I've been getting like tons of questions, emails, texts about stem cells. And if you guys really want to know like what they do, this is a pretty good book. I'll put a swipe. Oh, Beatrice. One. Fumble. My story. My story. My story is to my story, right? Oh. To my followers. What's our story? Yeah, bitch. It's about time, motherfucker. It's your arms. Like this or like this? <laughs> I don't think it matters. <laughs> Holy fuck, this girl just got shot in the fucking head. It's so fucking crazy. So I had to go grab a gun. I'm fucking headed back. Fucking so crazy. Some kind of mass shooting. Fucking guy had a heavy caliber weapon for sure. Saw a girl fucking get shot in the face right next to me. Her brain's fucking hanging out. Stupid ass me didn't bring a gun. Uh, I got one of the guys. I'm headed back. I don't think there's much I can do. So, headed home for all you people texting me, calling and everything, I'm fine. Pretty, uh, pretty fucked up night. <laughs>